Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, really happy to have you join us. Come into the comments, say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from. I will reply. Uh, this reading is sort of, um, it's the twin flame spread, so it's in honor of Lionsgate, uh, which reaches its peak on the 8th, so 8-8 eight, eight this year, it's 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. So we're going to be looking at the dynamics between you and your beloved at this time. Don't forget, I've been saying it since July, if you're interested in a private reading, it is still 88 off my regular rate, the link's below check that out. I'm going to pull from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. Let's see what message comes through for those of you watching. Earth Star Activation Anchoring Grounded Action Isis Energy. See that? Earth Star. Whew. So your message, when you draw this card, know your earth star has been activated and the wisdom you once ignored is finally being acknowledged. The rejected parts of yourself have now been rediscovered. There is an opportunity for you to rediscover magic too, but stay firmly rooted in all of your endeavors. Let the earth hold and sustain you. Don't rush ahead. In fact, if you've been wondering if it's time to move forward, know that it isn't. Stay put for the time being. Important information is about to be revealed, so wait and stand strong. This is a time of integration and rest rather than pushing forward. Great wisdom lies within you. Dive deep and find it and trust in yourself. You have more strength than you realize. You know why I love this for you is because we are in Mercury retrograde and Mercury is in the sign of Virgo, which is one of the signs he rules. Virgo is an earth sign. So there's a little message here of, yeah, yeah, just hold on. This isn't the time to push ahead. Mercury in retrograde pulls us back for a reason. This is a time of review and reevaluating and reassessing and right, a little reanalyzing some stuff. So I kind of like that. Um, I love the, the, the magic part too. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is pull the spread, give you my off the cuff general impressions, but we will get the details from the clarifiers. Let's go. Ooh, overall energy between you and your beloved, Ten of Pentacles, it's about the future. It is about building a life with someone, um, life partnership. Ooh, what are you working through? Some heart heaviness, heartache, your person, high priestess. Uh, there could be some separation at this time. Yes, I'm looking at your karmic challenges here. Um, what's available, what, uh, yeah, uh, the opportunities here with the Hierophant and the um, Divine Guidance. So, when we're looking at the opportunities with the Hierophant, it's talking about um, the vows we make and take in life, and that's not just wedding vows. It's like our responsibilities to our word, our obligations, right? say you're going to do a thing you do the thing and um in the divine guidance we have the empress here so we're talking about divine feminine energy and the openness and receptivity of that energy and the highest vibration of our divine feminine energy so we'll get some clarifiers but it definitely looks like we've got some struggle here some some heartache and separation in your in in where you're at with this connection with regard to future um how it's impacting the future perhaps maybe it's around the construct of committed relationship and uh your karmic challenge is the eight of pentacles whether or not you want to work on this whether you have it in you whether it's something you even want and your person's karmic challenge is around tension 
and you know conflict maybe even some drama and how they negotiate that you know do they stick it out do they tough it out let's go justice two of swords emperor so we have the emperor and the empress So justice on the Ten of Pentacles is talking about, you know, everything in balance. Everything in balance. And um, the Two of Swords is like, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a crossroads moment that you're coming, you finding yourselves arriving at. And important decisions have to be made. And perhaps with the Emperor there underneath, there, there is action that needs to be taken. And because I'm seeing now, you can always reverse it to me. I, I, I'm talking to you, whoever you are watching. Um, I don't necessarily say that this is the Cancerian side, but a lot of people just assume that. So take it as it resonates for you. But someone here is, you know, kind of um, hiding out a bit, maybe. And I'm feeling like whoever is in the energy of the emperor is the one that has more of a decision to make, really. Or maybe more in the decision-making mode is a better way to say it. So let's see the Three of Swords for you. very mirrored energy uh, not sure what you're anticipating but you sure are afraid of it lots of fears and insecurities worries almost like you're anticipating more drama more tension uh, more argumentative energy. Um, something here is is very much on tender hooks. Uh, let's see the high priestess for your person. Oh. So it's interesting because it doesn't come up for me often as a reader. I don't see it in my readings often is what I should say. But the high priestess can also be something that's not being said, right? She doesn't talk. Um, that's one of her attributes. So sometimes there's a little secrecy something that isn't being spoken into the situation and here it is that this person is all about making the choice for reconciliation right making the choice to come back together um and so they haven't really spoken around it yet but it's definitely something that that's what they want that's what they're choosing I kind of like it. That's what they're working through. And it is their choice to make. So I was right when I said this is a crossroads moment more for the divine masculine, more for this emperor. You're anticipating the worst and you're certainly quite nervous and anxious and apprehensive about it. And that is their karmic challenge, of course, but what they haven't shared with you, what hasn't been spoken yet, is what they truly want and what they're choosing, at least in an unconscious way, is some form of a reconciliation leading to a cause for celebration. Any tapers? So let's see your karmic challenge is going to be a, okay, if that's on the table, are you willing to work through the difficulties, the challenges that face you?
Are you willing to do the work? Because it looks like this is the love of your life, past life soulmate, page of wands underneath. I feel like this is happening, you know, for me, the card from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are, who are new, it's either something in your unconscious awareness that you're not readily dealing with in a conscious way, but it's there, or it's playing out behind the scenes. So either way, it's something you can't really see. I feel this is the positive message coming in. And then your struggle is going to be like, is it really worth it? Is it really something I want to work on? Can I put my all my focused effort and attention and energy on this? Um, because this is pretty, this is pretty gnarly. Where you're at right now looks like you're anticipating the worst. If you're not anticipating, you're expecting it. Um, and that's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? And I feel like what they haven't said, they're going to say. <laughs> so, and they're saying it with all this sort of, you know, positivity and excitement in a way where they're like, I, I really want this. I really care. I really love you. I want this connection. I, I want the future we envisioned, you envisioned, that you whatever it is that they say and but it's going to take work because it seems like you know you've been really hurt it's more work for the one who got hurt than it is for the one who did the hurting believe it or well i don't have to say believe it or not because it's not that i mean this person has to work through what they did so they're working through guilt which is hard right and shame that's hard you got to work through an insult to your integrity. You have to rebuild trust. You have to rebuild your own sense of self-worth and value because that's been smashed to smithereens. Do you see what I'm saying? It's, whew, it's a lot. That's your karmic challenge. But the dynamic of the relationship is pretty amazing in terms of what it could be maybe what it once was as well so let's see this person's karmic challenge five of wands queen of pentacles four of wands king of swords right their karmic challenge is they had it all sitting right there in the palm of their little hand <laughs> <laughs> they could have had it all. That's what it's all about. Queen of Pentacles, right? Feminine archetype of a life partner, the beginning of life partnership to get to the Ten of Pentacles. And what happened? Their karmic challenge is to come from honor and integrity and fix some shit. Pardon my French. This is the second reading in a row. I have to apologize for the potty mouth. <sighs> yeah. The good news is they're already there. They're, they're working on that. This is not going to be, although this king of swords, it's sort of an internal process right now. But they're, they're getting there. It's, it's there. It's all possible. But then once that message comes in, it's your challenge to say, is this really something I'm prepared to work through? And the opportunity is the Hierophant. Queen of Cups. That is Cancerian energy. Ten of Pentacles. Hierophant again. Bookends. Okay? I'm, I am, the opportunity is like marriage <laughs> Long, or long-term committed partnership, you know, jackpot, but you have to open your heart. A, a closed off heart, a heart of stone is not going to get you there. So that is the opportunity. The commitment, the honor, the um, 
the higher vibration. I mean, this is actually interesting. Earth star anchoring grounded action. The Hierophant is associated with the sign of Taurus. It's also associated with um, Chiron, the wounded healer. I know that sounds really way out there, but it is. Um, and so there is this energy, two different energies that I'm feeling, which is um, very deeply personal anchored here on earth and where you're headed into the future through your empathy starting with yourself through your compassion starting with yourself through your love starting with yourself right it's all fragile but it's the opportunity in this connection begins with you and the future is all there for you this person looks like they're about to do their part and if your heart is open enough and receptive enough oof, there is no limit empress is the divine guidance Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, right? Judgment. The path forward is up to you. It's, it's wherever you, you want it to take you, just take one step, one baby step. I feel like we start with the Emperor and that Two of Swords. And it looks to me like we start with, and I know I had to kind of reframe the way I said it, but the emperor is in that crossroads moment. And it's not that the emperor decides the future, but the emperor has to get clear, has to make that decision about how it's gonna go, right? Because there's a lot, a lot of the future depends upon how this person recovers from all the crap they kicked up. And then I see the recovery and I see the choice that's being made and I see the reconciliation and the, you know, uh, coming to realizations and wanting the to be honorable and do the right thing and then i i see in your karmic challenge really having to come to terms yourself with is this something i really want to work on and i see the opportunity for so you know something deeply committed you to yourself and the two of you to each other for the long haul and then when we get to the end it's like and you're choosing the path forward. It's the divine feminine that chooses that path. And it begins with a single step. And that single step could just be about forgiveness. That's it. That's it. I forgive you. That's it. I could cry. So I'm going to give you the astrology, I promise. Um, but uh, of course, I'm going to go into an extended. We're looking at this emperor here. And I want to do that for a reason, because there I want to look at um, how you can recognize them from higher vibrational approach versus their lower vibrational behavior. That will be very helpful for you, I believe. Also, um, hidden energy, something they might not want you to see. And that's important because of this high priestess. Something they don't want you to know about, don't want you to see, but could be really useful. A message they do want to share with you. Um, how they're feeling right now, or how they're seeing the situation, and intentions, etc. other energies. So, we're going to do that, and the link to that is below. 
Um, and before I give you the astrology, also, if this reading has touched you, helped you, confirmed something, validated something, and you haven't yet already, please subscribe below. Uh, I, the reason why I'm asking and the reason why I wait to the end is because I kind of find it annoying myself when people say it right out of the gate. I would rather earn the subscription than ask for it up front before you even see me flip a card or have it pop all over the screen and be really in intrusive into the reading. So I'm asking for your subscription. It doesn't cost a thing, but it really helps me get put in front of other people just like you who are looking for these messages. So thank you in advance. Here we go. We've got Justice, which is Libra. Emperor is um, Aries. Over here we have the moon is Pisces. High Priestess is the moon. Um, Gemini for the lovers. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. King of Swords is Aquarius. The Hierophant comes out twice. That's Taurus. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Uh, we have the Empress's Venus, Taurus and Libra. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Judgment is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. That's what I have. I'm headed to the extended now. The link is below. I'll be there in a second. Bye for now.